Good morning all. I'm going to switch on this receiving Arduino. It's an Arduino Nano with a little NRF 24L01 Plus receiver. Now it's not receiving anything currently because I haven't switched on the transmitter. So let's do that. That's over here. Switch on the transmitter. And now we get uh, a range of numbers on the display here, which I can alter by moving the potentiometer on the transmitter. Now these two numbers here, the top one, 1300 watts, this is simply the number that's being received by the receiver and I can change that on the transmitter to go all the way up to 2300 just about. So from 1380 actually that is, all the way up to 2300 but the pot's a bit jittery so we're getting 2298, 2299 and sometimes 2300. Okay now the bottom number this 19 hexadecimal and as I increase the top number that goes to 1a, 1b, 1c, d, e, f and then 20 all the way up to 29 occasionally that's derived from the top number using the map function. Now this is a printout from the actual code that's in this receiver. So what the map function does is it says the variable PWM, that's my second number, should be a number between nine, uh, sorry, one nine hexadecimal and two nine hexadecimal scaled from a range of numbers which come in on the radio, 1380, to 2300 and while it kind of works we're getting uh, 1380 which is the low number to 19 hexadecimal and at the other end of the range we're getting well occasionally 2300 and occasionally 29 but sometimes we're getting 2299 and 28 and that's weird because that's not what I was expecting from the map function or was I? This map function is a bit crude. So let me explain kind of what I would want um, from the map function. So we got upper numbers 1, 3, 8, 0 all the way up to 2, 3, 0, 0 and the lower range of numbers is 19 hexadecimal, or let's put an H there, all the way up to 29 hexadecimal. I'll put an H there. Now this is quite a small range of numbers. It's uh, 17 numbers, but this is a much larger range of numbers. It's 900 and something. Yes, it's actually 920 numbers. Now what you'd expect, or what I'd expect, in fact what any normal person I think should expect, is that um, when you have 1380 at the bottom end, of course you have 19, let's turn the pot down and get those numbers, 1380, 19. Now as you raise this up, you should get numbers above 1380, so 1400 there, also gives you 19. In other words, a range of numbers from 1380 up to, I don't know, some number above that, give you the static number 19 hexadecimal. And you'd expect ranges further up this large range of 920 numbers to give you all the other numbers in this smaller range. So after 19 it would be uh, 1a and then 1b, 1c, 1d, 1e, 1f, 2-0 all the way up to 2-9. And at the top end you'd expect a range of numbers from 2300 down to, I don't know, some, some number quite a bit below that to give you this number 29 hexadecimal. But that's not happening. And you can see that it's not happening if I wind this up to the top because this jitter lets us see what's going on. When we get 2300 we get 29 hexadecimal for the PWM value. But when we get 2299 or 2298, 
we get 28 hexadecimal. Now that means that this 29 is not occurring within a range of numbers uh, below 2300 all the way up to 2300. It's actually only occurring when we are exactly on 2300. The only number in this very large range of 920 numbers that gives us this 29 hexadecimal is 2300. 2299 gives you 28 hexadecimal. So this map function doesn't have scaling, doesn't have what you'd expect scaling but between ranges of numbers on the large range to individual numbers down here on the smaller range. It's all sort of skewed in one direction. Now let's see if I can find the number uh, down at the bottom. So we're looking for this 19 to increase to 1a and it's there 19 1a and I want it to jitter. It's kind of jittering. It looks like it's when it goes from 1438 to 39, or possibly from 1437 up to 1438. But it's a number substantially above this 1380, so that 19 is a number derived from the map function over a large range of input numbers but that simply isn't the case up at the top end of the range you'd expect that uh, it would be 29 all the way from 2300 on the top number down to some much lower number but it isn't 2300 only is the number that gives you 29 from the output of the map function and in fact we can see this for 28 if i come down off 2300. Now we're getting 28 and we're getting 28 over a range of numbers. In fact, let's get the jitter point there between 27 and 28. It's quite hard to do because the pot movement is tiny. There it is. So it's between what? Uh, 2241, possibly 2242. But there's the jitter point between 27 and 28, substantially below. 2300 but 29 we're only getting on one of these top numbers and it's the very top one so how do we fix this well one answer would be to rewrite the map function or create a, a more sophisticated map function where ranges of numbers between 1380 in my case and 2300 give you individual numbers from 19 hexadecimal in my case to 29 hexadecimal. But I don't want to go down that route because that sounds like a lot of work. So I'm going to fudge it. So how do we fudge this? Well, what I want to do is I want to create a number above my range. Now the, the top number I want in my range is 29 hex. So I'm going to come up with 2a hex, but I never want to see that number because I don't want it to go above 29 hex. And the best way for me to never see that number is to map it to 2301, because that number 2301 will never come in over the radio, so it will never map to 2a hexadecimal. It'll always uh, map to 29, but 29 will then be further down and we'll have a full range of numbers up here, which will give you 29 as an output number. So I think the fudge is to rewrite this map function, this one, telling it the top number is actually 2301 and the top output number is 2a hexadecimal. So let's change the code and put those fudge numbers in. So here is the code that is in the receiving Arduino. And you can see down here is the map function. The variable PWM is a map from, well, this is the radio receiving packet. Numbers in the range 1380 to 2300 give you numbers in the range 
uh, 19 or 19 hexadecimal to 29 hexadecimal. But with that odd anomaly, that the only way you can get 29 is if you actually get the exact number 2300, 2300. So let's make the change I was proposing. We'll go for a number that I'll never see, 2301, to a number that I never want to see, 2A hexadecimal. Let's save, compile, and upload and see what the effect of that is. Right, that has compiled and uploaded. And uh, the first thing you see is that we're still getting this jitter uh, between 2298, 2299, and up to 2300. But now there's no jitter on the output number. That is 29. So that with the new map function, with a fudged um, number 2301 that will never come in over the radio, and a fudged output number of 2A that we'll never see because that 2301 never comes in over the radio. We're now getting a nice stable 29. And we should continue to get that as I reduce the pot. I'll just put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. As I reduce the pot down from uh, 2300, I'll bring it down and there's the 28. And I'll just get to the jitter point of that. So somewhere around 2245 or 2246, we get the transition from 28 hexadecimal to 29 hexadecimal. And now we get 29 hexadecimal over a range of numbers from 2250-ish all the way up to 2300, which because of the way my potentiometer is jittering also sometimes shows 2299 or 2298. But 29 is now what I want. 29 is derived from a range of numbers heading up to 2300. So although I've put in numbers that I never will receive and that I never want to see, it's fixed the problem. But I mean, how crude is the map function that it doesn't neatly scale your input range of numbers and uh, <laughs> neatly scale them to your output range of numbers? Yes, that's an odd anomaly of the map function, but there it is, it's fixed. So now I can move on. So that's the end of this video. Cheerio.